Today we're going to be using the new Latte Panda 3 Delta from DF Robot to build a cyber deck that packs up into a waterproof case that you can take almost anywhere. The Latte Panda 3 Delta is a pocket sized computer with a powerful processor and a great combination of I.O. It can run a range of operating systems like Windows 10 or 11 and distributions of Linux. It even has an onboard Arduino that provides 12 analog inputs and 23 digital I.O. pins. As the name suggests, this is the third generation of the Latte Panda board, and they've made a number of upgrades. The most significant being the new quad-core Intel N5105 processor running at 2GHz. It provides double the CPU performance of the previous board and three times the GPU performance. DF Robot also sent me this little box along with the Latte Panda. I'm not sure what's in it yet, but we'll take a look at that in a bit too. So let's get it unboxed. First up, we've got the Latte Panda in a clear plastic case. Beneath it are some power cables for different outlets, a set of nylon standoffs to mount it on, and then the power adapter. This is a branded 45W USB-C adapter that supports power delivery up to 20 volts at 2.25 amps, so there's plenty of power for the Latte Panda to work with. In addition to the upgraded CPU, the Latte Panda 3 Delta also has 8 gigs of LPDDR4 RAM, 64 gigs of eMMC storage, dual band Wi-Fi 6, and Bluetooth 5.2. On the bottom of the board, we've got an M.2B key port for mobile network adapter modules or a SATA SSD, and an M.2M key port for an add-on graphics card or NVMe SSD. There's also a SIM and microSD card slot. There are three ways to hook it up to a display. You can use the obvious HDMI port, all the EDP connectors on the bottom, or drive a display through the USB Type-C port. So you've got support for dual 4K monitors through the HDMI and USB-C ports. There are three USB 3 ports on the side. One USB 3.2 Gen 2 port that supports data transfer up to 10 gigabits per second, and two USB 3.2 Gen 1 ports. On the opposite side is the USB-C port for power input, an audio jack, gigabit ethernet, and an HDMI port. My favorite feature is the onboard Arduino, which gives you a lot of options for I.O. for your electronics projects. The board has been designed with makers in mind, so it's got some additional neat features like a watchdog timer that'll reboot your system if it detects that it's no longer responding or has crashed. Now let's see what's in the small box that it came with. That's a pretty cool little flash drive. Let's install the antennas and get it booted up. It comes with Windows 10 pre-installed, but it's easy to set up to dual boot a Linux OS as well. You can also upgrade the Windows 10 install to Windows 11 if you'd like. Another nice feature of the Latte Panda is that it can be powered by the USB-C port or through the 12V DC input next to it. The documentation also says that you can switch between the two while powered on without interruption, which is pretty cool. The onboard fan is impressively quiet. It's PWM controlled, so it ramps up when under load, but under normal conditions you can barely hear it. Since the Latte Panda 3 Delta is aimed at being a powerful mobile computer, I thought it would be great to turn it into a cyber deck. So I'm going to do that by installing it into a Pelican case along with an HD touch display, a fold-up keyboard and a low-profile mouse. As the brains of the cyber deck, I wanted the Latte Panda to be visible rather than hidden behind the display or keyboard. I also want to provide a path for adequate airflow and I want to be able to access the eye opens for hooking up sensors and other external devices if I need them. I want to maintain the Pelican case's waterproof design, so I don't want to drill holes in the sides for cables or ports. I'm going to rather reroute the ports on the board to ports on the main deck to plug into. I sketched up some parts to hold all of the components in Inkscape. These consist of a bottom deck with a holder for the Latte Panda and divisions for the keyboard and mouse, and then the top deck to hold the display. I then laser cut the components from a sheet of 3mm MDF.
I glued the pieces together using some PVA wood glue. Once the glue was dry, I gave the parts a coat of primer and then a few coats of satin black paint. Now we can start putting the cyber deck together. I'm going to start by installing the display in the top holder. To hold the display in place, I'm going to use some M3 by 12mm button head screws and M3 nuts. We need two cables for the display. One HDMI cable for the display, and one micro USB cable for power and the touch input. These can be fed through the cutout at the bottom, which will then run into the bottom of the case where the latte panda is. To mount the latte panda, I'm going to use some 6mm high M3 nylon standoffs. I'm not using the ones that came with the board, as I want to mount it as close to the baseboard as possible, so that there's more room underneath the compartment for cables. I also bought a couple of extension cables so I can reroute the ports to the surface of the cyber deck. These press into the cutouts in the MDF and we can then use a bit of hot glue to hold them in place. I cable tied the extension leads together to neaten up the wiring and make it easier to install the base in the pelican case. The display panel fits into the top and we can then secure it with some hot glue. I fed the HDMI and USB cables through to the latte panda and we can then glue the bottom into place as well. To finish it off, let's add our clear acrylic cover over the board. This has a cutout for the fan, and I'm going to install four magnets in the corners. This will hold it in place with four magnets on the MDF panel as well. I've held all the magnets in place with some UV glue. That's it, our Cyberdex now complete and ready to use. The onboard Arduino allows you to hook up sensors, servers and displays directly to the iOpens, so it's great for tinkering with electronics or to deploy as a project solution. By adding some of DF Robot's hats to the Arduino pins, you can easily hook up Grove sensors, I2C displays, and even use industrial communication protocols like RS-232 or RS-485. The touch display is a little small to work with comfortably, but it's a nice addition if you're working in an area where the mouse is not practical to use. I've hooked up the USB 3.2 Gen 2 port to the top panel, so we've got a port that's perfect for use with high speed devices. Something like an SSD or a high speed network adapter would be ideal. For additional I.O. you can also use an adapter like this on the USB-C port. This one adds an SD card reader, two more USB ports and an HDMI port. Let me know what you think of the new Latte Panda 3 Delta in the comment section below. I'll leave a link to the product information page and a purchase link in the video description. 
Also let me know what you think of my cyber deck and if there's anything you'd add or do differently. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more tech and electronics projects, tutorials and reviews.